so the recent shift which has happened in the pmp is about uh, people management so previously it was more of uh, uh, process oriented mm -hmm. so Welcome to another exciting episode of Career Transition Series. I'm your host, Arka Priya, and today we have a special guest who recently completed his PMP course with Edreka and embarked on an exciting professional journey. Join us as we explore Mr. Gaurav Bansal's experiences, challenges, discovering valuable insights and advice for anyone considering a career transition. So, without further ado, let's dive into this captivating conversation with Mr. Gaurav Bansal. So, Gaurav, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so myself, Gaurav Bansal. So, uh, I have around 20 years of experience in uh, IT industry. So, I've been involved with multiple projects in, uh, uh, towards project management, people management, and uh, uh, and have been giving a lot of trainings at various levels. Mm -hmm. And uh, so currently I'm working in Johnson Controls and uh, I also received the quality certifications related to ASPIs, IATF, ISO 9001. Oh, so, wow. yeah, so that's just a brief about me. Yeah. Great. So, Gaurav, what motivated you to take a PMP course from Edreka? Yeah, so... Uh, I, uh, when I was uh, going through the uh, technical projects, so I felt that uh, uh, it is required for me to do PMP course. So then when I was looking uh, at different training institutes, so I felt that uh, mm -hmm, Edureka is more professional and uh, the content delivery is very good. So, so somehow I felt that I should go with Edureka. Yeah. Wow, amazing to know that. So what specific skills or knowledge uh, did you gain from this PMP course that you took? And uh, how did you find it valuable in your career? Yeah, so basically, uh, uh, PMP course itself uh, contains all the uh, knowledge areas which are related to project management. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... The recent shift which has happened in the PMP is about uh, people management. So previously it was more of uh, uh, process oriented. Mm -hmm. So so later they have realized that people are more important than process. Okay. So so now the fifty percent of the topics are from process and fifty percent from the people oriented. So so it was a great learning. Uh, so dealing with people and. Uh, um, trying to train them and guide them is a great art i feel uh, and uh, so so when i was going through the material so it was very interesting for me to learn uh, so they have introduced uh, uh, very important two concept which i also uh, learned is this the leadership the difference between leadership and management mm -hmm. so so now the uh, focus is more on towards the leadership uh, so, Gaurav, can you share some examples of uh, how you have applied the principles and the techniques that you have learned in the PMP course uh, in your job role? Yeah, so, uh, so there are a couple of things which uh, I learned from PMP mm -hmm. and uh, two things which uh, uh, specifically which I picked, picked up from this and could see the relevance in, the, uh, in my job and uh, uh, dealing with people uh, so servant leadership so now so there is a difference between leadership and management so so leadership is more about motivating people so the pimbok uh, seventh edition now clearly uh, discusses about the uh, what type of leadership we need to give to people so servant leadership it's more of uh, uh, motivating people and also connecting with the people in a more personal way than just assigning task and getting it done. So that forms a longer relationships and uh, people also can relate with you. So that was one thing which uh, I really liked. And, uh, and, uh, and along with that comes emotional intelligence. Yes. So um, how do you um, 
relate with your emotions. We are always dealing with our emotions and people's emotions. Correct. So, so it starts with the self-regulation. First of all, managing our own emotions. Then only we can be uh, in touch with other emotions. And also we can influence others to, uh, to do the right things. So I think these two things go uh, hand in hand. And uh, it takes time to develop these qualities. And, uh, um, and I think we should have someone who has these qualities. And then when we see them applying these principles, then we learn and grow. So Gaurav, why did you choose Edureka as your learning partner? Yeah, so uh, I think the Edureka is uh, uh, more professional. And uh, I see the, uh, the instructors are well prepared and they have good subject knowledge. So that gave me confidence to move forward with Edureka. Yeah. So how did the instructor and the overall learning experience at Edureka contribute to your successful uh, career transition? I think overall uh, the uh, the Edureka support was good. It was a uh, uh, seamless uh, integration with them. And uh, the instructor, uh, Mr. Ramesh, so uh, he was very knowledgeable in the subject. And uh, so I want to um, say that three things. So one thing is that he covered all the knowledge areas of the uh, PMP exam. So that really gave us confidence that nothing is left out. And uh, repeatedly used to say that get the breadth of understanding, not the that much depth. Mm -hmm. so, so that gave us <laughs> confidence that, okay, we need to uh, get to the, all the knowledge areas and not just stick to one and keep uh, uh, digging into that. So I think that his experience uh, that gave us clarity on uh, how to prepare for it. And uh, and of course, the another thing which really helped from uh, his uh, classes was that there are a lot of books floating around, right? So previously there was a Pimbox 6 edition and then uh, recently the Pimbox 7th edition came and then there is a process guide and then agile practice guide. So with the job at hand, it's not so easy to read all these books. So he, he was clear. He told that although PMBOK 6th edition is not there, still that is the foundation for the PMP exam. And uh, uh, he could clearly tell the difference between process guide and 6th uh, edition and what is extra in 7th edition. So that clarity is required actually. So I think he, he did a very good uh, explanation on that. Yeah, I think it was, overall it was a good experience with him. So yeah. I'm a little curious to uh, know about this. So have you noticed any uh, significant differences in your work approach and problem solving abilities after you have uh, completed this PMP course? So last week only I completed the exam. Uh -huh. So yeah, I think in the coming times, I will definitely see the way uh, I will lead the projects and uh, of course, applying this emotional intelligence and uh, uh, this leadership, the way of leadership. So yeah, I think I have become more conscious of these two facts. And uh, so definitely it will help, I think. The, the way you see people and the way you connect with them and uh, that uh, empathy factor. And so I think it will help, yeah. Okay. Sure. So what advice uh, would you give to others or our viewers who are considering a career transition and are specifically interested in pursuing the PMP certification? Yeah, first of all, uh, motivation. You need to be motivated to do this. It needs regulated effort. So um, it's not that just by studying in one day the book and uh, uh, you can clear it. It needs a regular effort. So in a regulated way, you put, and it's not just about studying. It's about dealing actually with the people and doing the projects. And uh, uh, so, so it's both the experience and as well as study. And, uh, and of course, the Edureka's training will help. <laughs> Definitely. So along with the training, the planning and the motivation. So how, do you think like this, clearing the certification, the exam is very difficult or it's just a moderate uh, thing? No, yeah, I would say it's not so easy. I thought it will be easy, but uh, when I was going through the exam, uh, looked like it's not so easy. So, uh, so most of the questions scenario based and uh, 
nothing comes directly so you have to be thoughtful and, uh, and i think the um, uh, practicing mock exams also helps you so that so edureka has put in many mock exams uh, so attempting them slowly slowly and uh, so contemplating on the wrong answers why did they go wrong so was your concept wrong or uh, you under misunderstood the situation so mock exams also helps so you need to do those great so god of any last message that you would like to share with our viewers be focused and uh, uh, if you want to prepare for pmp exam uh, be ready to put the regulated effort in the right direction yeah thank you great so thank you so much for joining us today and uh, sharing your insights with us today we had the privilege of hearing from mr gaurav who successfully transitioned his career after completing the pmp course from edureka we hope your experiences and advice would inspire our learners and they would embark on their own career transition journey thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you yeah